Morning everyone. Bricks and I are headed to the big woods today because we're gonna start working on that 85 main line and getting that drop down to eliminate that ladder. Um, if you remember, that's like a six or an eight foot ladder up top that I'm gonna try and eliminate. I've measured it off with the laser level and it looks like I can do it. I've just gotta move some stuff around. Um, so I've got everything loaded up that I need. I got the posts, um, because I'm gonna add posts and swap out the ones that are there that um, aren't pressure treated. I'm gonna go to all pressure treated posts now. So get over there, get up top, and um, hopefully I can get this done today. We get some snow coming later this week, and I may try and run a main line before we get that snow and add some taps, but I'm not gonna do it in a foot of snow. So um, if I can hustle tomorrow and at least get the wire in the main line hung, then uh, the rest of it's pretty easy, but we'll find out. Dragging this bundle of posts up in here, which is going okay, but I tried to get all of them on at once, and there's 10 16 footers. So I got 20 pieces that are bundled together with a ratchet strap, but I don't think that ratchet strap is going to be very good by the time I get to the top. But I got through the water hole so far, I've got one more spot that's going to be less than awesome, but I think I can get through it. First things I'm gonna do here is kind of get some of these laterals out of the way and then the wet dry is up there and it's gonna come down and be somewhere in probably this neighborhood is my hunch is on up here so I've got to bring this one up that's down here but I've got to get it in between the wet dry so at some point I'm gonna to have to change the loop here to get it in between which is gonna be a pain but I'm gonna wait until I kind of get this set because then I know how far I have to bring that down. But I gotta loosen up these ratchets first. It's kind of a pain with this ladder here, but I don't wanna move too much off of this ladder until I know for sure that I'm getting rid of it, which I'm almost positive, but I just, I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself, but I gotta loosen up these ratchets. That gives that some decent slack that will allow me to kind of raise this up as I come down here. As, as I get closer, I can adjust it more, but this is the one that really matters on being able to get into the wet dry because I know I've got enough pitch on the wet dry. I've only got a couple hundred feet here. All right, laser set up now. I know this one's longer than 20 foot, so I just, I'm gonna measure these just to kind of know exactly where the 20 foot is. Um, it just makes it easier as I go down through. Well, I guess I'm not gonna measure it with a tape measure because I forgot that. But I think this repeats this. 16. So 16 plus four, 20, right? Twenty. So I'm gonna run the rod upside down because it makes it easier because I've got a flat surface and it stays consistent. So I need to go up the rod five inches now. And let's see where we're at at 20 foot. laterals are killing me because they're pulling so tight and pulling down at the same time so I don't know how this is going to work out. You tired? Yeah. Go my way. So I finally said, 
frig this with trying to measure with the rod that just wasn't working so we ran down and grabbed a tape measure out of my truck um the four-legged boss thought it was um lunchtime so he kept up on the way back up he was kind of giving me the finger which um i'm still pretty disappointed in him for that but i'll probably get over it So I'm having some real mental discrepancies here as I go because the further I'm coming down this line, it feels like the higher I'm pushing the main up and the math says it's right, but looking at it, it's just too tall for how far I need to go. So I'm gonna go down to the lower side and pick that up a bunch to kind of where I think it should be. And I may start working my way up because it it's just gonna be too high in the air for for what I'm trying to do. If anything, it, it feels like it's going up, even though it's it's not, but it feels like it is. That's where I think that should be, is about at the five foot mark. Maybe close to six foot, but I think. But in looking up there, it, it may be, I may be right. It just doesn't look right, but I'm gonna unhook some of these posts that I can on the way up, but I think I've got the wrong bit with me, so I'll probably have to do it later. Looking down this thing now, it, it may be right being this high and I'm going to need to bring a ladder to tap a few of these now, but that is what it is to try and get rid of a sap ladder. I'm making decent progress on this. I think I'm probably almost halfway now. And it's actually looking better. What is really gonna be trouble is a lot of these laterals are tight and they're pulling hard against this and it's making it sag down to where I'm probably gonna have to add some length to some of these to take some tension off of this pipe. It, it's up in the air. It's definitely coming down now. It's just, everything's playing with my eyes, but we'll get it. I've only got like four posts left now, I think, and it's actually coming out right where it probably should have. Mathing is hard some days and you have to trust yourself with it because doing everything right, you check it a couple times and your eye plays tricks on you, especially with terrain. So definitely a challenge, but I've been able now to start cutting the tops of these posts off and using them for the next post because it's they're about eight footers now or less, but need this one more down here and then It'll be a matter of fighting with a wet dry line, getting that pulled down, but that shouldn't be too bad. This is all pitched, and when I got down to the bottom from where I set it, when I was kind of guessing where it would come out, I had to drop it about five inches, so pretty close to where I wanted to be. Um, now I've just got to go down and loosen up the ratchets for the wet dry so I can drop them down, and I've got a mark right here. That's the mark when I kind of eyeballed it that day I had the girls here and I'm about six inches above that, eight inches above that. So that'll give me at least enough to transition here. So I think this is going to work. Now it's just a matter of adjusting this wet dry, which that's going to be harder. This got moved down. That wasn't that bad. I had to go down and loosen up those um, tensioners, drop that down. And then here, this one was going to be below it. So what I did is I took and I wrapped a new one, tied the knot in it, got it as tight as I could, and then I just cut the old one and the new one caught it. So now we're in between where I wanna be, so it comes in, drops down and goes into the wet line and then the whip going over the top. Um, watch out. I had to go down and I just loosened the um, A2 line because that runs all the way up. It's like a three pipe system. It runs in between the wet dry line and catches the few that are, or really it's a bunch that come up through here. But it's right here on, in the middle of this, 
here where the wet dry turns there's a side tie here that's the end of it so i had to um loosen that up so i can drop this down because this whole turn's got to drop and then these few here That's down a bunch, but now I really need to take and set the pitch on the wet line before I go too much lower because I can go lower and really everything is kind of based off the wet line. So I don't want to go lower than I have to. So I don't have a lot of time. It's, what time is it? 3.30 and I got to be out of here at four. So half hour, get the laser set up, a couple posts. I think I got time. I'm real interested to see where I end up down there I've got one hump I got to get over it's gonna be close I'll probably end up having to shovel there too and that'll make like three spots I have to shovel which I'm not really excited about but it's fine but coming down yeah this will work and looking up that now it looks way better but get this finished up because it's getting close time to leave so it's 4 30 right now I was able to finish up everything I needed the laser for um all the way down to where a3 takes off is all set now so now it's just a matter of just adjusting everything the dry line's not set for the most part um a2's not set and then there's a whole bunch of laterals that just need to be adjusted same up there i'll probably bring a roll of 5 16ths and i'll lengthen out some of them just because it's pulling on that too much and there's just a lot of weaving in it that i want to get rid of but getting rid of this ladder is going to be huge i mean there's like 300 taps on this piece. Actually, I think it's 275 on this in that, you know, getting a ladder out of that is gonna make a huge difference. I mean, I, I don't dare guess how much, but I think it's gonna be substantial. But uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. So Bricks and I are out this morning and we're headed for the woods. Um, I had to work yesterday, so I didn't get to finish up that project, but we're back at it. Um, I did have to take my truck to the shop this morning. So before I did that, I took the four wheeler and the trailer and everything I'm going to need over to the woods and then went and dropped my truck off at the shop, got a ride, got home and now we're in the hot rod. So I'm going to go over, I got to stop at the hardware store, pick up um, some tools real quick that I, I don't know where they went. I think I broke them or lost them. And um, then we'll get over to the woods and get up top and hopefully be able to get this project taken care of because we got snow coming this weekend and I don't really want to be doing any of this in the snow if I don't have to. So let's get back at it. So back up top now, A5 is gonna hook into the wet dry. I realized I forgot to bring my one inch pipe. That's okay too because of this tie in because what I don't have is I don't have a one inch to an inch and a quarter adapter. So I need to get that because then I can hook in and then from here it's just a Y that goes up. So it's not a huge deal, but what I am gonna do is rework some of these lateral lines because some of these are long and I don't like how long they are. So. I'm gonna change some of this around and get it hooked in and just neaten it up. Um, but before I do that, I wanna get these two, um, the one inch tightened back up and the inch and a quarter on the dry line. So later all I have to do is just hook them up. I need to get this dry line set down here, but I've also, I wanna move this A2 line and get it so it goes all the way up because I can pick up these taps here and it'll just clean this disaster of 5 sixteenths up. Um, but it, it may not be as bad as I think. I just gotta, I gotta rework it right here and probably just move this side tie, add a piece of wire, and that's good to go.
I'm not overly in love with how close this thing is to the ground. I mean, it's 16 inches off the ground here at the lowest spot, but it was really the only way that I could get the slope to come down, which eliminates the ladder. So I'd rather eliminate the ladder and do a little bit of shoveling because I'll get more volume of sap because I don't have that restriction. Um, one more post here, take, and then this should be good. And I cut myself again. Damn it. Splices on with this piece of three quarter going up. Um, I did forget one of those Chinese finger things and I really want one on the top of this just because where it's all tied up, that's the only way I'm really gonna be able to get this thing tight um, is to put one of those on. So I'll have to go back to the house, which is less than ideal, but um, it is what it is. It's gonna be a chance to get something to eat too because I'm kind of hungry right now. But I'm gonna get this thing kind of pulled up, loose tied, and then probably go get that Chinese finger trap. All right, leaving the house, I picked up a cello lunch, got some chips, nutty bars, and a high test Pepsi. Right back on my usual sugar and season diet, I think. But no, you can't have any. I don't care if you're pissed, no. This main's up, uh, I extended up. So this piece of woods, the main stopped, oh, probably 80 to 100 feet before this new one took off. So I had a lot of long laterals coming in that just had too many taps on them, but it, I kind of made it work. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this up and just do the three to fives, running it into the new main that comes up and just clean all this stuff up because it's a damn disaster in here right now and I don't like it. So um, I guess I'll just start right here with this one. Saddles are all on, drops are all cut in. This project is finished with the exception of, I just need to make my connection here from the A5 line um, into the wet dry. So what I'll do is I'll take and I'll put my valve here and then the splice will just be that whole piece. That way I can get rid of all these extra saddles that I don't need here anymore. Um, it's just gonna make life a lot easier getting rid of this crud. So I'm out of the hot rod, I'm back in my truck because that's all fixed. It, um, I guess the front wheel bearing was pretty bad, which, weird. Um, but I gotta go get the four wheeler now and pick up Brooke and then it's time to make dinner. But it, I got a lot done today, it just doesn't seem like a lot, unfortunately, which kind of seems to be the par for the course for me. The dog was about giving me the finger when we were headed up into the woods that second time because you know everything else is more important i made him come with me but, but on the way out he pretty well trips over the wheels and is right under the tires trying to get run over so it's like he thinks it's dinner time or something is it dinner time you want to eat huh, that got his attention